Hi everybody, Steve Valaket here for another episode of Valley's View. Today we're going to take a closer look at expected goals. Expected goals are goals that can be expected to score based on how and where a shot is taken, factoring in game situation and game strength. We take those four factors, put them together, and we're going to find out how goals are scored in the NHL. We all know that a shot a stick length from the crease is more likely to go in than a shot from outside the tops of the circles. Similarly, a shot taken after a pass is received is much more likely to go in than a shot taken from the exact same location without a pass. However, we're only halfway there at that point of the analysis. We still need to factor in the game situation and the game strength. The game situation refers to the sequence that advances the player or players towards the opponent's net. Shots taken on an odd man rush are the most valuable, followed by zone entry shots, in zone settled offense shots, and shots that come directly off of a face off. Now game strength is properly splitting up power play shots from even strength shots, three on three shots, and six on five shots. They all have to be split up and categorized to get the proper historical value to find out the true rating of a shot and how frequently it can go in. The only way you can get true historical averages per shot type is if you combine all four of these game conditions and manually track them for every shot during an NHL season. That's exactly what ClearSight Analytics has done for four years. Over 250,000 shots on goal have been manually tracked, which include 34 points of data per shot. For instance, CSA knows a breakaway goes in one every three shots. Two on one off the rush at even strength is going to go in one every four shots. And when the puck carrier gets to the right side of the slot in this exact location as Brock Nelson is here, the shooter's chance of scoring is 18%. Location alone is not enough information to conclude expected goals because way too often the shots from the slot look like these. And you need to edit out the failed shots that dump to the goalie and the only way you can do that is by manually tracking the games to get true historical averages per shot type. Now let's not forget that plenty of high danger shots happen from outside the house or home plate as well. I mean, look at some of these beauties. Expected goals is a metric which assesses every shot on goal. Answering the question of whether a player should have scored on a certain opportunity or not. Put simply, it is a way of assigning a quality value to every shot based on what we know about it. For example, this relatively easy tap-in by Leo Komarov is worth .46 expected goals, which means that a shot like that one goes in 46% of the time. Conversely, this shot by Kevin Hayes was only worth 0.2 expected goals because that shot has only a 2% chance of going in. Put another way, a shot from there only goes in twice for every 100 times it is tried. And in the coming weeks, we're going to have a few more videos explaining how to use expected goals in team, player, and game evaluations.